There we go. I apologize for the delay, everybody. Um, a little bit of afternoon, uh, obviously. <laughs> I'm running a little bit late, but I uh, had my, my system crash on. Um, but other than that, we're good. We're going to try again the same flight we did uh, the other day with KMCI to CYYZ. I'm going to be doing it this time in X Plane 11. I want to kind of showcase the differences. Um, I, it's not that I think that MFS is bad, I think it's not good yet. It will be, it's not quite there. Um, but let's jump into the cockpit. Let's get this open here. Get into our preliminary pre-flight procedures. We need to turn battery one and two on. We need to turn on our ground recorder and external power on. Fuel pumps are all off. And we need to load our fuel. All right. Eight twenty-eight. So. Gonna go with it. Nice. Then our load sheet, we're gonna be looking at 144 passengers. And one ton of cargo. Uh, what's our zone for the weight? Yeah, 50. Why that's so some kind of ducking going on. Look, look at our look at our audio. Obviously nothing here. Too ducky up to go, but there clearly seems to be some kind of audio ducking. Much, much louder when I play it without you. I can hear it. The alarm bell is working. We're just going to move on. Master on. Wait for that uh, flap open message. It's performing some tests. You can technically start it early. But uh, then it doesn't perform all those tests. The only way that we know it's done. Okay, flap open. I'm going to go ahead and get going as well. Uh, cockpit lights and mic. We're doing pretty good on that. Flap lever should. Or. Play retracted. Uh, don't need a 8 and once it be available. Air conditioning panel, no white. Generator one and two fault light are on. Otherwise, no lights. Lights in the ventilation. No. As uh, power becomes available through the eight, we turn off our. Move on to our pre-flight procedure. Light, wing light, nav and logo light, and all of our internals as well. Go ahead and turn off our external power. Turn on our APU. Uh, landing 
elevation should be auto. Pack flow as required. Normal today. The uh, things up just a tad. It's gonna be all right. So now we go with fuel pumps all on. And today, by the way, we have rudder pedals. Might be the first time I've actually gotten to land with. Yes, I am pushing the button. All the buttons. All our radios turned on, even though we're not really going to use our radio. Because fuck that. And now we get to configure our McDo's. This is where it gets for me, not for you. Uh, and then we need to go to our GPS monitor. All right, so we are going from AMC by what? So much easier to put in in this simulator. Oh my god! All right, and our latitude is thirty-nine seventeen. Oh hey, spot on. And ninety-four forty-three. stream raiders just let me know um it's just a little plugin that you throw in with game or with uh twitch basically i start a fight and you just place down units one every five minutes and then when uh i think it, i think it lets me get started for 30 minutes and once we reach the end of that 30 minutes i start to fight and the pixels kill each other and whoever wins wins and if we win, we get loot, which we get scrolls, which help you to upgrade or uh, unlock new heroes. Um, gold, which helps you to kind of do the same thing. Um, and then sometimes you get heroic, you also get heroic potions. So you use those to make your, your heroes big and strong and they get super So if you're ever interested in I have ready to go. Uh, it just doesn't really serve us to start it if there's nobody willing, uh, nobody who wants to. Play. Uh, let's see. Fight. Uh, what's our cost index? It's five. Who would have guessed it was five? Light level today is seven zero. Pull down that wind request. Just let me know. Uh, I am happy. Uh, figured out what we were doing last week was all a, an event. I did not know that. Okay, there's my. Okay. So we're departing KMC. that because I changed uh, the music that I'm playing. I had to change 
services, which means using a different program, so my balances are all weird. Well, Imperials make heroes big and strong. I don't know about the rest of that. Basically, you just place down a unit every five minutes. Uh, and after 30 minutes, uh, I, I basically start, a, I pick a fight, and then I place down a hero unit, and you guys get to place a unit every five minutes. Um, most units, I think, have a have a 10 minute cooldown before you can place the same unit again. So you'll start with three different units, and you'll just kind of be cycling between all three of them, placing them all down. Um, then at the end of 30 minutes, I start the fight, and we go and kick Pixel's ass. And if we win, we get um, scrolls. Anytime you place a unit, you get a scroll. Anytime you place a unit, you also get a, 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 her a hero potion. Um, get gold for winning battles. And those help you to upgrade your pixels to be better pixels. Hey, thank you so much for that host, Butterbloney. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I felt bad because I wasn't able to answer, but I had just started. I didn't want to that in the middle of stream. Um, yeah, so if anybody wants to play Stream Raiders, let me know. I'll go ahead and, and get a uh, fight started. And you guys can have fun with it. And hopefully we... Okay, so Bowden F... Miles away. One, I don't buy three thousand miles. It took me forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes to enter this flight plan in MFS. That flight plan is done. Um, so that took. That's a goal of like what five? I, I, let's let's count the time we're talking about stream raiders. That's ten minutes tops. Um, I'm gonna stop by with Philly uh, Green. Oh, thanks. Yeah, um, you can feel free to drop by. Um, I can make sure on my break that uh, that the doors open for you. Um, but I think. One roomie is gone and the other one is at work right now. Trying to be obscure, but. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go back to it. it. At the I S. All right, wing of flaps one. Yeah. All right, so we are fifty-seven point. Or slash 29 point. You can also feel free to drop by after uh, stream. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once I get once I get up in the air, I will uh, get the doors open for you. Um it's Performance. E1 is 152. 2 is 152. Or V, v rotate is 152. Is 15. Flaps are 2 down 0. 0.0. 0. Flex temp's gonna be 1 degree. Look at how fast and easy this is compared to what I was doing Microsoft Flight. This is this is ridiculous. Okay. That's that done. Let's get to push back and start. We're already pushing back, guys. It, we're not even 20 minutes into stream, and I've spent half of it talking about uh and and I've spent half of it talking about um Dream Raiders. Alright, so altimeter set. Let's Take a look what's our weather look like here in uh, altimeter 3024. Uh, yeah, and if I don't catch it as soon as you get here, um, if I haven't already unlocked the door, go ahead and, and call me. 
Uh, I will see it. I just won't be able to answer, but I'll, I'll you know, I'll step out and let you in. Uh, okay, so flight directors are both on speed heading and altitude. Let's set this to ATC here. It's going to be 37,000 because we're not going to worry about strengths today. Flying offline, so there's no other uh, air traffic to worry about. Anti skid and nose wheel steering is on. Uh, switching panel is all normal. Transponder, let's go ahead and set. FR <laughs> in an A319. Uh, beacon on. And then let's call for pushback. All right, so. Our chart here. Funny thing is, it's already dark in Toronto where we're landing. Okay, so we need to go back to left. Better push back. Hey, look at that. It's already basically got me. Don't want exactly that, though. I want it to be right on this one. All right, better push, push back, start push back. It'd be nice if they added that into here. We also, today we have rudder pedals. The rudder pedals, they're here and they're functioning. Oh my God. Okay, so we actually Okay, so we need taxi around down Delta. We'll take a right onto Delta. It's straight to the end of runway zero one. Okay. Them's the one feet and over. Yes! Close. The ones from Fee, they finally got here after like two months. They just tell me to kill the parking brake. Like no. I feel like they just said they're ready to connect, but they're... I love scenery animation manager. And I may start in perfect. He is a golden human. All right, starting engine two. We're gonna look here. That's efficient to oil. Vibration is starting. So let's look at N1 rotation. What are we looking for? Uh, 20, uh, I think 20 or 21 percent N1. Yeah, the, um, they're here. I've already had to repair them once because um, somehow the linkage between the two pedals slipped off. So it jammed one pedal forward. But it was super easy to just take off the bottom of the panel, slip the linkage back on properly, and everything's good. Yeah, I think this idle's at 20.5, so it's it's 20%. We'll consider that positive start. There we go, positive start, engine two, starting engine one. This audio ducking is just killing me. Let's see if I can't put it up here.
Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. There we go. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. percent there and that's a positive start engine one engine mode back to normal AP off ground spoilers armed laps set for takeoff that's Pitch trim is zero. The tail is disconnected and bypass spin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have fun up there. Wing anti ice is not needed. APU master off. Go ahead and turn on my taxi light. Already pulled away. Can be over here on the left and then we can get started. Guys, we hadn't even gotten done. With the, with the flight plan yet at this point in Microsoft Flight. Alright, so let's release the parking brake. Going to run our time. FMA should be at nav and climb. Auto brake set max. Rain on in. Having calls. And for once, I'm going to remember this. Guys, I will be right back. Thank you for choosing to fly a rack set. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you. Our AP system isn't working today, so we can't show you the $2 million safety video that an ad is good for us. But since very little of what that video tells you will actually save your lives, I'm going to do it this way. Here's the thing to remember. If we crash or make an emergency landing, statistically speaking, 95% of people will survive. Serious crash, 55% of people will survive. So if this plane is going down, constantly. Because your life may depend on some smart decisions. Keep in mind that 80% of accidents happen within the first three minutes and the last eight minutes of flight. So that's when it would be wise to keep your shoes on and put your laptops away to stay focused. The safest seats on this plane are over the wings close to speed limits yet. If you're not in one of those right now, here's what you to help ensure your survival. Look where your nearest exit is. Now count the rows between you and that exit. If the cabin was full of smoke, or upside down, or full of smoke and upside down, how would you get to that exit? Take a moment to visualize yourself doing that right now. Now look at your seatbelt. I know all of you know how to use it, but that's because nothing is making you lose your shit right now. Common for people in your stress situations to try and open that thing by pressing a button that's not actually there, like a belt in your car. Take a moment to imagine yourself lifting that flap in an emergency. In fact, do it right now, just to get used to the motion. Emergency evacuations on the runway are more common than crashes. In the event of something like an engine fire, we need to get you all off the plane in about 90 seconds. This means you your fucking bags in the overhead bin and get off the damn plane in a quick and orderly manner. Those bags will bring the evacuation to a virtual home. My first officer and I will be trying to get off this plane and the last thing we want is 
cockpit block like your roll off. Now, you're probably well aware there's a life jacket under your seat, but forget about it. They're less likely to save your life than those little airline pillows. Sure, there was a famous 2009 emergency water landing on the Hudson, but there were boats on hand immediately that nobody actually needed the life jacket. There was a flight that ditched in the Caribbean in 1970 where 40 lives were likely saved by the death. But there was also one off the coast of Ethiopia in 1996 in which many passengers put them on too early and couldn't get out of the flooded fuselage. To put it another way, if we replaced those life deaths with a box of chocolates, it wouldn't alter your survival life. Let's take a second to talk about those oxygen masks. Here's the thing. If we lose cabin pressure at a fairly low altitude, we can breathe just fine. If we lose cabin pressure at a decent altitude, if that happens, here's what I'm required to do by law. I'm going to push the nose of the plane into an emergency descent, and I feel like a roller coaster drop, and it's going to scare the crap out of me. But it's not going to be a drop. Also, by law, I need to go to find air traffic control as well as the airline. And I need to all that before I can get on the mic. I'm going to get the head of the mic. I'm going to get the head of the mic. For those of you who don't know if you can pass this on to the mic, you'll probably pass out and wake up in the middle of the mic. You want to know what you can do to see the mic? It's a major attachment that they're fighting for those people at the bottom of the mic. It's a major attachment that they're fighting for those people at the bottom of the mic. And I'm back, sorry about that, I wanted to make sure that, that door was uh, on the floor. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that, uh, that uh, announcement. And let's continue. And let's 
this down just a little bit. Because now that it is loud enough to hear. Loud and I don't want it to overpower me. Because despite what everyone wants to believe and wants to say, I'm sorry, video games are not the heart of streaming. Music is not the heart of streaming. The streamer is the heart of streaming. Um, oh, by the way, for those of you who receive go live notifications from me, you might be confused because this one just said X Plane 11. Um, there's something going on with Twitch lately. They're being super, super particular about my go live notifications. Um, every week I struggle with it to get it to save my go live notification. Um, it seems to have issues with, I, I don't know if they're filtering certain words or if it's just luck, but it seems like if I remove all of the words that are very integral to my go live notification making sense and I just say the name of the game works fine but if I try to make an interesting engaging call to action it says that whoops there's a problem we we can't save your uh, stream details then I'll go back in and the only thing that's been removed is my go live notification has gone back to whatever it was before I started so like in in the case of today it kept going back to a notification about Mega Man X2 <clears throat> And then strangely, if I changed that to just saying X Plane 11, it worked fine. So if you guys see some weird, nonsensical, bad calls to action, really shitty well, I have notifications, not my fault. It's all that um, Twitch is allowing me to do. Uh, and and speaking of Twitch, my lord Twitch. I don't know what you are doing, what you are planning, what you are thinking, but it is not with the correct brain. Um, unless you're planning on taking on Rhea, which it seems like that's what Twitch is kind of trying to do. Um, and I, that's that's going to be a rough fight. I don't know that you're going to win. Um, I mean, granted, you do have a Big Daddy Amazon on your side. Maybe that'll get you something, but um, maybe maybe you got a chance. I don't know. I hope you do, because I would love to see Rhea come down. Not necessarily go away, but but to at least be brought down a few pegs. To have to share more of the money that they make with the artists that they protect. Um, to get rid of some of these spurious claims to to reduce the um, the, the cost. Of licensing because licensing for music is absolutely ridiculous listen there's a reason why I use nothing but but copyright free royalty free music because trying to get actually licensed music is very very difficult and expensive and here's the thing it doesn't always even make sense like if you play Fallout 3 right now you have to mute your pip boy because if the if the radio plays, there are licensed songs on there that are no longer licensed to Bethesda. Their their license for those songs has expired. So although the game still exists with it in it, you cannot create any video content with that music in it because you are not licensed for. It. And I think that that is ridiculous. If the content still exists, if, it, if, if it's, you know, a, a licensed product and I'm streaming it, I should be able to stream anything in it at any time. For all I know, the Mega Man streams that I've been doing have been using copyrighted music that that's not, it, it, it's not usable, right? But in order for me to play it without that, I'd have to... I don't even know if you can mute the music independently. I'd have to mute the entire stream and just 
I, I'd have to mute the entire game and then just put my own royalty-free music over it. Which, by the way, um, what you're hearing right now, this is called Stream Beats. And yes, I have a sync license for it. it means I am allowed to synchronize video content with this. Um, no royalties. Totally non-exclusive. It's it's not like I own the, the, the ability. No. All I have is the ability to copy it, to use it, and to make money off. I can't use it independently, but I can use it... Uh, like, I can't just sell the music. I can't go on on YouTube and just upload the video with a black background and make money on it. That would, that would be a violation of the sync life. Right? But as long as I'm synchronizing video content to the music, I'm golden. Right? And they've got several hours worth of content that you can use, that you can make YouTube videos, podcasts, uh, Twitch. They, they also allow you to use Mixer, but that doesn't exist anymore. Um, I'm not sure whether or not it's legal to use it on Twitter or Facebook, but uh, you can make podcasts, you can make... Um, you make podcasts and, 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 and YouTube videos and Twitch videos, all that sort of shit you can make off of Stream Beats. I do have the sync license, so this music is covered in perpetuity. Um, if I were to lose that license, if, if Stream Beats were to go away, then I'd have to stop making new content using the existing uh, music. But I go, oh dear, oh, that's more palms in for the Hodas challenge. Oh no. Oh, don't do the no Hodas challenge. Okay, so here's the thing I have to ask, because you guys have put in some serious money, some serious palms into that challenge. If I, if you guys complete that challenge, how, how do you, do you guys consider guys consider the uh, the flight pedals the the rudder pedals be part of the hodis because i mean it kind of does it's in the spirit of the thing but i i i, I want to bitch out and say no let me at least use my rudder pedals <laughs> um give me something but you don't have to do it. i get it i i definitely want it to be fun for you and, and I think it's going to be fun, right? But uh, I'm still super nervous about it. <laughs> also, don't forget there are other things there making me stretch or get water. Also, let me know if you want to do Stream Raiders. I'm happy to kick that off at any time. Um, we can kill some pixels. Turns out everything we did last time was in an event. So now that we're out of the event, I'm back into the normal things, which, thank God, because um, there's some difficult fights. <laughs> okay, stretch. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, let me move my mic. Oh. Oh. I'm, I, I'm honestly surprised if you guys want to pull the snaps and pops. <laughs> they are loud. Oh. Whew. Okay. It feels good, actually. <laughs> I'm glad I added that because I don't think to do it. But when y'all throw some palms at me and say, hey, Fix it, you know. I, I remember to do it. I'm able to do it. It makes me feel better. Gives me more energy. So I'm glad that we do that. I, I appreciate you guys throwing those at me. But yeah, if you guys want, to, like, let me know how you feel about the rudder pedals. Um, also, if you guys want to do... Yeah, don't forget to do the thing. Exactly. Exactly. I need help doing the thing sometimes. <clears throat> so, 
So, um, by the way, if this was last week when we were flying this exact same route in Microsoft Flight, we still would not be off the ground. I think I think I was just lining up on the runway at 45 minutes. Or maybe I was just starting taxi. I can't remember, but either way. You did hear me do the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm getting old. I can't help it. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys want to do Stream Raiders, let me know. Um, I think it's something that's fun for us to do every once in a while. Um, and I think with at least one person here, we'd be fine. It may go back to being a little easier than, than we might expect. Because, like I said, what we were doing was an event. So we had gotten up a few levels in that. Sorry, I had a lot of notifications just come in and buzz my phone. But yeah, um, so it may go back to kind of tutorial levels of E for a little bit. I'm not sure. I've never done the, the default map. The, that event was the first time I'd ever actually done Stream Raiders as a captain. I have a much better account when I'm as, as, a, uh, as a raider. But as a captain, I'm kind of new. <laughs> very, very new. And here's the thing. See, with Vulcan, these, these clouds are getting to look even better. They really are. Also, uh, guys, let me know what you think of the overlay. Uh, I've worked really hard on that, and if you like it, I want to hear about it. I want to know it. Right, where are we at? We're at 32,000 feet. We're not quite up to cruise altitude yet. Everything looks good. Stream Raiders? Okay, okay. I'll start some Stream Raiders. All right, looks like we're started. With a prize, right? All right, so that's 30 minutes until that's ready. Destroy the enemy obelisk. Your army will, if you are obelisk, is. All right, so I would suggest y'all placing yours on the left side while I let. Uh, I let my tank kind of handle stuff on the on the right. That's an interesting battle type. I've never actually seen that before. And I forgot to reset this when we got to the runway. Luckily, I can go back and extrapolate where I was by going back and looking at my VODs. Which, if you guys want to go back and look at my VODs, always visit my YouTube channel. The channel on the use of the tubes. Copy that address for you. So this is where I am on the YouTubes. I'd appreciate a follow or a subscribe from everybody. On the YouTubes, the YouTubes. So you can fa find all of my replays there. Um, I will not be keeping them live on Twitch for very long. Um, 
there's just too much risk on Twitch right now, and I don't like it. So I'm I'm drip feeding these things out to uh, YouTube. It's gonna take me a little bit to build a repertoire of not flight stream stuff. Um, once I have that, then I will throw up. Um, I'll start throwing up things like. Um, Oh, uh, um, like the Mega Man X playthrough stuff. I don't know that I'm ever going to put up any of the older stuff like Legend uh, Trials of Mana just because I didn't get, like, it, it, it's uh, too much of it is already expired and gone off, so I can't download the entire series. And if I can't download the entire series, I don't want to put any of it up, right? So with the Mega Man stuff, I'm doing the Mega Man stuff. I've got all that footage saved already. Right? So I can put up Mega Man. I can put up all my flight stream stuff because that's not continuitous. But for me to put in like an RPG but only have the last few episodes, that just feels bad to me. I don't I don't want to do that where I don't get to see where I started. So maybe someday I'll do Trials of Mana with a different protagonist set. Something like that, and start over, and then I'll I'll film everything. Um, maybe that'll even wind up being my first uh, YouTube exclusive. Content. But for the moment, uh, I have no plans on that. Um, I do plan to have some exclusive adjacent content, um, like. Sometimes I think I'll do some replays, but those will be for YouTube and only YouTube. Um, just because, and 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 I'm gonna be upfront about this, right? I'm not gonna try and lie to you guys or anything. I'm gonna straight up tell you, okay? The reason why I'm gonna do this is so that I get you guys to come in and my YouTube. I need you to do that because the idea is that I use YouTube to feed people into Twitch. But in order to do that, I need activity on my YouTube, right? So I need people watching videos on my YouTube. Which I will absolutely be putting up all my content there. I know that it may be things you've already seen from being here. It may be something that you missed. Um, but... And, and I know that there is a delay of a couple weeks. So, um, hopefully by the time it does actually release on YouTube, you've forgotten what happened. And you might pan through and find some interesting stuff. Um, but until I get some activity reviewing and commenting and liking my YouTube and throwing subscriptions, I can't get the attention to filter people over here. Um... So the idea is to get everything here so that I can provide some better content for you guys, something more fun for you guys to watch, um, higher quality streams, um, more, more tools and games and stuff in my repertoire that I can help provide you guys with entertainment with. I just need a little help doing it. So uh, if y'all want to take that YouTube link and help me out greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, so we're just rounding Bowden. We also are just hitting our cruise altitude. And we've got quite a ways to go to our next waypoint. See, how simple is this? Like, by this point, I was barely off the ground in MFS. And it's not because the, the system is significantly more complex. It's not. MF, M, like, the, the plane in MFS is almost identical to it. Or at least it's supposed to be. But there was just so much stuff that didn't work. There was nav data that didn't work. Um, where this, I just plugged it in. Everything worked. Good to go. No big deal. Simple, easy, quick, done. 
or flying. Now you can use MFS's inbuilt, you know, use their map thing, and you can import a a flight plan for the most part. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't work quite like you might expect it. Um, and it definitely loses this feeling of, you know, actually flying the plane. Like, this is what a real pilot would do. Hey, thank you so much for that follow, Chizo. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I do this flight simulation every Tuesday. Uh, I started about an hour ago, and that's when I start every week. Uh, I also do classic and RPG-style games. Uh, we've been playing Mega Man X series lately. I know that that's not an RPG, but it's a classic game that I grew up on. I had a lot of fun with it, and somebody bought me the Legacy Collection for, um, for my birthday. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream it. I haven't played this in years. Some of the stuff I haven't played at all. Uh, we're doing that on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. And um, on Wednesdays I stream same time, an hour ago until an hour from now. Then on Fridays I do it from 2, till four, or two to 4, which is hmm, 4 hours ago to 2 hours ago. Uh, you'll also see that whenever I'm not online, you'll see that in a uh, countdown down below the street. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, let me know. If you just want to lurk, that's cool too, man. Uh, we appreciate lurkers around here. Um, we don't try to pressure anyone into anything. Ooh, what's going on with my frame rate? 28 FPS. What is going on? Normally get a solid 30 to 60. That is not acceptable. What is going on? Maybe there's something. Bring up the resources. But you know what? I'll bet it's this. I thought that was open. things that I don't if that improves my frame rate any nope I went down to 20 oh these clouds have got to be killing me 27 but it definitely didn't help as much as I thought it would but you know what we're experimenting I've only flown a couple times with Vulcan enabled, and it did get me some decent uh, frame rate. I also noticed there was some uh, difference in my shadows. Like when I was back at KCI, um, my shadows were super, super jaggy. Um, maybe foot long jags on, on the shadows. But I don't know what's going on with my specific graphics. And there's, it's not like there's really any settings for, for like, shadows specifically. I know X-Plane is really bad about handling shadows. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'll have to... Rudder tree. There shouldn't be rudder tree. I don't think so. Maybe it's had to trim because of my rudder pedals being off or something. Who knows? But, uh... But yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Um... If there's something you want to see me play, then you can always join the Discord and throw it in there in stream suggestions. And this is not just for me. Like, if you stream as well... I've got a stream announcements channel. That's where I announce. That's where I ask everyone to announce. I want you guys to get something out of it. Ooh. Looks like OBS is kind of giving me some issues. 
Oh, I am CP on this hell. What is going on? OBS, what are you doing? OPS is, OBS is angry. OB, OBS is very angry, guys. Uh, it's using like 55% my CPU. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. But it's definitely OBS that's causing the issue, and it's probably related to why OBS crashed when I was trying to start the stream. That's why my, my stream timer, usually it adds up to exactly one hour when it hits 6 o'clock today, uh, because I try to go live exactly at 5. Um, unfortunately, today it crashed out, wouldn't let me go live, clicked the button several times, it wouldn't work. So I had to restart OBS. I'm imagining whatever is causing it to eat up all of my CPU. It's probably because of stream. Um, which I'm not real happy. But it is what it is. Um... Um, at least for today's stream. I don't want to reboot it in the middle of stream. Oh, I don't like it, though. free up a little bit of room. There we go. Now we're not quite CPU bat. Oh, wait. It's getting angry again. It's hovering at 97, 98%. So that's, that's a little better. Wifey is back. Welcome back, Wifey. Hopefully, um... I'm sure we'll be I'm really worried about these numbers on OBS, though. I may have to pre-compose some of the videos into one video. Doing the evening medication distribution. That's fine. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that you got that taken care of. Um, I hope you don't think that, like... I hope you don't feel bad about stepping away to do stuff like that. Like, seriously, real life comes first, and that's in all things related to the stream, whether it's even just being here in the first place. If, don't let being here for me interfere with your real life. Right? That goes for everybody. Not just for wifey, that goes for all of you. And it also goes for all uh, streams. Right? Streams, games, doesn't matter. Real life is always more important. I appreciate the support and I appreciate the help when you guys are able to give it. But um, I don't want anybody screwing themselves over for me. And I don't think that anybody should do it for other streamers either. Uh, never put yourself in the poorhouse to help one of us out. Right? Like, there'll be somebody else. We'll be okay. Some, somehow we'll figure it out, right? This is some interesting clouds, man. This is a very per pervasive system.
Currently channeling my inner 14th botanist in eating persimmon. <laughs> Right, guys, while I'm while I've got the uh, opportunity, I'm just taking a few quick screenshots. button that's what it was <laughs> I hit the num log instead of the print screen but yeah um you know what you guys think anywhere you want me to fly also I've got flight suggestions also in my discord um when did I get or I'm not gonna do it again there's two discord um Although it's not putting it on the overlay. That's fine. Oh yeah, it, there, there's two of them just right above you. I wasn't going to do that, but... Also, we have a few uh, better Twitch TV emotes available. So if any of you uh, already have the better Twitch TV uh, extension... If you don't, then go to Better Twitch TV, like search for it and, and install the, the extension, because it's amazing. It allows you to have an unparalleled amount of control um, over Twitch. But then uh, also you can get things like this emote. And oh. I also... No, I did not do hype. It did rip. Yeah. OMG. Wait, what? Uh... Among Us, please? Please don't! Don't kill me! The Ban Hammer. Which I don't anticipate eating, but I thought it was funny. The salt train. And, mm. and that's Rem from uh, Ray Zero. Like it's not terribly themed for the for the channel, but oh yes. I am the saltiest of the salty. Like, this is why I'm flying in X-Plane 11, right? It's because I'm salty. It's because I shelled out the money for Microsoft Flight, and it's not ready yet. Its cookies are not done baking. Right? Like, and they keep making it worse in an attempt to make it better. 
Like they they potatoed the graphics. They've 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 nosedived the autopilot. Flight systems are still terrible on anything except for um, general aviation. General aviation's not. Everything else is terrible. Trying to close a few things here. If I can't help my computer be a little less CPU bound without restarting OBS. But yeah, um, I spent a little time digging around in um, Better Twitch TV. Found some emotes that I thought applied pretty well. And activated them. Uh, I can still do plenty more. Like, I can do up to 15. I think it is. And as you can see there, I've got like, what? Eight. I can still do plenty more. I just have to look through. There's an absolutely enormous database. And it's not really curated very well. So I'm not, hmm, not loving that. It just takes time and, and energy, which is difficult to come in, come by in the year of our pandemic, COVID-19, 2020. Uh, we can go ahead and turn up the first officers and for uh, FD and ND. So far, everything going very, very smooth, especially considering the fact that the last time we did this crashed five minutes from our destination. Um, and all because for some reason, I even went back and looked at the VOD. Um, I, I still had fuel, um, it, my, my throttles just stopped responding to my, my HOTUS. I'm sitting here trying to, to throttle up, throttle up, throttle up, and it wasn't doing anything. Which, I mean, there's, there's, there's a rule in aviation, if the plane is not doing what you want, then change what you're doing. Right? Because continuing to do whatever it is that you're doing is not going to get the, the, the plane to do anything different than what it's doing. Um, the plane is just going to continue responding, giving it the same inputs, with doing the same thing. Um, so, like, I've seen where a uh, pilot was trying to take off. Um, I think he had, he had a bad... Uh, Started to have a bad takeoff, heard the wrong way, and tried to just haul back on the on the yoke and try and take off. Well, he didn't have the airspeed to do that. And of course, when you pull back on the yoke, it deflects the aileron and the elevator. And when it does that, it it's gonna slow you down. It's, it's interfering with your aerodynamics, so it's going to slow you down. It's going to act like a brake. So it's going to increase the amount of time that it takes for you to actually be able to get enough speed to get any lift to take off. And then when you do, you're probably still going to hit... You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna tail strike, and that's going to just dump you forward again. Like, it's not going to go well. And then he tried to turn... And he's sitting there trying to turn the, the, the yoke like it's a steering wheel, and it's not. Like, you steer a plane using the rudder pedals, right? Because you use the brakes. In GA, you use the brakes. In, in uh, Heavy Iron, we use the tiller, which is right down... Actually, so you can see it. it's right down here. This is the tiller. And this turns the nose wheel. But most 
Um, most GA planes, you don't have a tiller, you don't have nose wheel control, just use your left and right brake to differential brake to make the plane turn. Uh, 2020 customer service, thank you for calling customer service, how can I assist you? I'd like to return 2020, up until now I do not recommend, um, I already hear that you're not pleased with this tutorial of 2020. Wait, what? What about a tutorial? Yeah. The tutorial is almost over. 2020 starts in December. Right? That's what's going to happen. 20, uh, 2020, December, December 31, 2020 is going to end. And then we're going to start December 32nd and we're all going to be pissed. Because this shit is not going to end. <laughs> I'm sitting here. It's going to be 1159 December 31st, 1160 December 31st. See, I think it's going to go to, to, to 12 a.m. December 32nd. Or maybe 12 a.m. Uh, 2nd January 2020. We'll have 2nd January. They'll, they'll go straight hobbits with it. So 2020 is just going to start over again to Groundhog Day. Groundhog Year. Oh, looks like the battle is ready to begin. Throw Street Raiders up. Let's get this started. I think we'll be fine. Let's uh, turn that back off, but Street Raiders is going. You can see that timer down there in the bottom right-hand corner of the stream. Hopefully you guys find this fun. Uh, I definitely do, and I think that it will get us a little bit of attention. I hope, um, I hope you guys understand that I do have to do some things as a shill. Like, I, I have to get some attention somehow. <laughs> But hopefully this is an entertaining way to do it. Like, that's that's the idea. I want something that works for me, and it works for you. Right? Okay, let's look. When do we have our top of descent? Oh, we got quite a ways. We got, what, 310 miles? 300 miles? Yeah, we got plenty of time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'll take a look real quick at some toolkit. See what it says. My ETA is about about an hour. Um, so I'll probably be there in about an hour 15, hour 20. Now, if I had done all of the uh, setup and everything before starting the stream, now nah, this would have been straight up two hours. Which is kind of what I aim for, is, is for it to be between one and a half to three hours. That's where I want to be. That's my sweet spot. Especially with this aircraft. Like, I can't really do much of a long haul with it. I could do a long haul, but not a very big one. Uh, today we're going from Kansas City to Toronto. We're doing the same flight we did last week. Um, well, there's a map I can bring up, but I don't actually have it set up yet. Oh god, it reset this. Oh well. Nothing but my progress. Trust it fucking. I still gonna show my. Bar at least. I don't know where the map was. I think. You mean me, Pearson? Well, that's where we're heading. We are heading to Pearson. There we go. That at least gives you a tracker. Missing view like that one. What do you mean? Oh, you mean from flying? Not necessarily like from stream, but from actually flying.
you know what? Aviation's coming back. Well, we're at almost 40,000 feet. We're almost double that. But yeah, they're to die for. I don't like this haze, right? Like, I, I think it has to do with the moon. It's like just shining through the earth. And I don't, I don't like that. It's something that's new since they, since they switched to Vulcan. Like, it looks stunning on the horizon. Like, that's how it should be on the horizon. But it should not be shining through the earth like that. <laughs> Flying above a thunder uh, above a thunderstorm is hard. Um, you can't always really get above the thunderstorm. Uh, those cumulonimbus clouds are sometimes very very tall. That said, a lot of these probably are cumulonimbus. Like this this here is probably. It's hard to tell because these are all simulated. Yeah, it is damn pretty. Yeah. Yes, Disney, I know. The Mandalorian returns in three days. Don't care. Stop pinging me. This is not why I gave you permission to send me notifications. Oh, it's so much simpler, right? Flying, flying in in X plane is just faster to start because maybe that's just because I'm familiar with it right but I gotta remind mom of the Mandalorian <laughs> in my kitchen putting shit in my freezer all right fair enough just uh you know don't touch the porn why is the porn in the freezer don't ask me don't ask me in your living room sitting in a comfy chair I can hear you sitting in my comfy chair I mean it's not my come someone else is coming it's not your comfy chair either. God damn it, wifey. But it is a chair, not a couch. Here. But, uh. It's, it's not yours either. You know whose it is. Is he. Oh, it says GPS primary because I haven't heard this message off of. There we are. That's why. Sometimes, uh, see, that's the thing. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm familiar with all of these systems, so when something goes wrong, I can figure it out very quickly. And that's what makes me kind of happy that I've been doing this, right? Like, I've actually been getting good at it. You will not fight the person who actually is in possession of the chair. Because she would kick your ass. I mean, that's just that's just how it goes. You would not be able to fight her. But yeah, I'm glad that I did this. Like, I am starting to really understand the systems of this airplane. Like, I do understand. Like, everything south of here, I understand. Some of this stuff I'm, I'm kind of met on because it doesn't even work. Right? I don't know what this toilet button... What does it do? Does it flush the captain's seat? I don't know. Um, audio switching. I'm not sure what that does. I'm assuming this is a dome... A reading light. And I'm assuming that there's probably one that's not modeled over here somewhere. I know these are all... Uh... Trucker breakers. No, it's because you've got a tiny car. Oxygen timer reset. 
See, I don't know what all this is. <laughs> Most of it doesn't even work. Oh, blue pump override hydraulics leak measurement pulses. That's supposed to be valves. Leak measurement valves. APU test and reset engine FADEC ground power. I assume that's for a manual start when you don't have APU. You're not taking the chair! I'm acting like you're taking the chair. You're not going to take the chair. No, you're not going to take the chair. Because there, there is somebody who will be here before long that would just mop the floor with She would be very, very upset. She would disown you. Not that she ever did own you in the first place, but yeah. Oh, by the way, apparently it is, um, some of you may have heard of this holiday, but like in a couple of days, uh, I think there's this little out of the way holiday that nobody knows anything about called Halloween. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it Halloween? 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 Not sure, but um, that's coming up soon. Anyways, you have a bunch of chili in your freezer and some other gear on your couch. That's awesome. Thank you. You made too much again. Yeah. I tried to take the chair. <laughs> it did not go over well. Yeah, yeah. Um... There are a lot of people, very, very, um, shall we say, religiously devout people who, who uh, get upset at the idea of Halloween. I'm like, shall I tell you the history of Christmas? I'm going to say there's a very native person who would claim ownership of the end might say yeah, about it. Well, yeah. Yeah, but either way, like, we know it here and now as Halloween. Halloween. Not sure how you pronounce it properly. Why you gotta tell me you have popcorn? It was going so well. We were having such a good stream. And and then you had to tell me that. Like, what? 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 Who hurt you? I mean, like... What did, I, what did I do to deserve that? Why why would you do that to me? Is it is it because of the sticky notes thing? Is it because because you forgot the sticky notes for like four years? And and I never let you live it down, so now you gotta you gotta haunt me with the popcorn all the time? Even though I can't get that kind of, of popcorn around here? That is is that what you're doing? Is that why? Is that the thing? That is that the plan? I feel like that's that's what you're doing to me. Is is you're just mad because I made fun of the sticky notes. Oh good. I thought it was about the seven years thing. And so now that I know that it's not about that, that means that I don't have to stop doing that. Off the door. Turn off the plug. I will say the, uh, the volumetric lighting in MFS is absolutely stunning compared to this. This this is nothing. It's it that oof. There is just no comparison. Okay, I need dinner. What do I want for dinner? Apparently not chili. No, that's not one. You already said what it was. You said it was about the sticky notes. And I'm prepared. I am prepared to let the sticky notes die. I am prepared to let the sticky notes die. So that's, that's the deal... 
Uh, I will stop mentioning sticky notes. And you don't taunt me with the popcorn that I can't have. Because, you know, you love me and um, you don't want to hurt me. I know that it's not for everyone that those things are mutually exclusive. But they are for me. You have way too much chili. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. There's a reason why when I cook, I, I tend to cook for a lot of people <laughs> so that I don't have much in the way of, uh, so that I don't have much in the way of, uh, leftovers. Because otherwise I will have to eat the same thing for weeks on end. <laughs> for at least days. I think we'll still. I think we'll still be fine. We've got 12 more minutes. Ooh, lasagna does sound good. No, no, go ahead and pop your head in just, uh, you know, quietly. Um, but yeah, lasagna sounds good. Um, baguette sounds pretty good. Um... Sure, go ahead, come on in. Uh, this is your co-pilot speaking. Uh, we're about to crash into the fucking ground. Uh, somebody said the ultimate wrong. I mean, apparently we've got some time before that crash. We, we've <laughs> probably got a good, uh, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, at, I'm just, I'm just looking out the windows here. It looks like, looks like we've got a little bit of time before we have to worry about hitting the ground. Also, uh, the pilot is. Pilot is. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> Which he says knowing full well, I don't drink. I have never drank. And I, I don't take pay pills. And, well, I mean, if you're injured. No, you didn't. Yeah, but, but I know that you have. You have, you have, you have done it when it's, when it's medically appropriate. But um, but yeah, we're we're totally fine up here in the cockpit. However, uh, the wings have already arrived in uh, Canada, so the fuselage is just plummeting towards the ground at a break next. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be fine. Uh, I've already taken the liberty for me and the co-pilot of grabbing the only two uh, parachutes on board, and uh, good luck for you guys. Um, good hopefully, enough. I'll see you guys on the ground. I didn't know this model of airplane came with ejector seats. Now that would be dumb. You get sucked into the engines. Hey, like, what if you went up? And then you hit the rudder. Then out. Because, uh. Like, yeah. Like, isn't it like a 45 degree. No, you, you don't understand. The, the, you would slow down so fast, probably wind up hitting the horizontal stabilizer. Like. It, it, it'd be, there's a reason why the safest place to be in an airplane crash is actually in the airplane. If, kind of like, kind of like car crashes, right? If, if you, if you crash in a car, then generally being inside the car is safer than being ejected. That's why we have, keep us inside the car because it's safer. You really should. And, and, you know, planes are no different. Um, probably should have Although, realistically, that would probably be less safe because you'd have people breaking their necks on, on impact. Um, it is actually important to get your, yourself in line so that when the, the reason why you're supposed to bend down and basically put your head between your knees is because then the, the, the line of the impact, right, the, 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 the direction of the forces is aligned with your spine. Otherwise, you wind up, you know, snapping your neck when, when the, the, the plane goes from, you know, 300 knots to zero knots very quickly. Oh, so the whole very quickly. I have never heard that. that There's like some weird conspiracy. Theory. That is pure bunk. <laughs> no, it's 
just think about it in term in terms of physics, right? Uh, physics and 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 knowing what you do about biology, like just think about it. it. Your spine is fantastic at absorbing impact. It's 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 what it's meant to do, but only in one direction. If if you start flexing it in other directions, it breaks very easily, very quick. But compression, it can handle. It doesn't. It's not comfortable. It's not. You know, fun. It doesn't like it. Yeah, it doesn't like it, but it's a lot better at it than if you try to flex it side to side. That is technically accurate. Of like certain types of, they're falling to the ground and perpetually, perpetually orbital. Well, yeah, or, uh, orbital, suborbital. Yeah, you're just you're just falling and missing. <laughs> you're, um, you're you're really bad at crashing, but. The I mean, I, I would like to say that generally I am bad at crashing, and being bad at crashing is a, a, a thing to put on your resume. Very good to be bad at crashing. <laughs> well, sir, I've never gotten to practice. Sir, what, the, what makes you think that you are qualified to be a pilot for our airline? I'm really bad at crashing. That is a good thing to have. <laughs> I mean, listen, I may not have a great track record of flying because I've never done it. However, I can tell you this. I have never crashed. What was the... Certain jobs just don't get it. Like, you can't be an airline pilot and, and be like, oh, well, you know, he occasionally has this habit of crashing in mountains, but it's okay. Yeah, well, I mean, like, surgery, too. You don't get to occasionally leave a ham sandwich in somebody's torso. Um, okay, first of all, you shouldn't have a ham sandwich in the surgery. The operating theater. Listen, I didn't say there wasn't multiple mistakes. <laughs> I just said there's. It's just one where you don't get to have one mistake. <laughs> um, All right. So the first thing that you. <laughs> yeah, the first thing you did wrong was picking ham. Like clearly, the the pastrami is the superior sandwich. Uh, second mistake. Uh, well, you know, everyone's allowed to make their own mistakes. You're in a position where you're allowed to make mistakes. You're not a. So, as a surgeon, they're not allowed to make mistakes, which means they have to take pastrami, which is the superior sandwich, um, based solely on the amount of black pepper used in the recipe. You heard it here first, folks. Surgeons must have pastrami. Yes. Only pastrami. Yes, surgeons pepper. must have pastrami, nothing but pastrami, because it is their sandwich, bar none. Um, preferably with deli mustard. Um... Because that is that is just how it works. That's how pastrami works. Now, you don't do it have, any other way. Can they have other meats with Yes. Okay. As long as the pastrami is present and the most prevalent meat. Okay. You can throw some, like, capicola. Some, yeah, yeah. Some salami. Yeah. A little bit of provolone cheese. Yeah, a little, a, a little of everything, but it's still got to be the predominant meat. It's got to be the, the, the an undersquirt with other flavor. Some salami, some pepperoni. Um, you, can put, you, can, you can even put some things like, uh, like some, some sauerkraut in there. Strami and sauerkraut, that's good. Um, but you, what you can't do is forget that you're flying and not change your map view. Um, but also... Did you overshoot the Air Force? Oh, God, no, no. We've still got another... Uh, even just to my top of descent, we've got another probably about 100 miles to go, 110 miles. Um, but plenty of time. Oh, it looks like uh, I got a follow. Thank you so much, Darth Zilla, for that uh, follow. Yeah, we are the saltiest of skies. And yes, this is Bard Interact. Uh, Bard did drop by today. So we've got a co-pilot today in the... Uh, apparently Bard is a ghost because I'm looking at his side of the cockpit and there's there's nothing there. So Bard's a ghost. No, no, no. I'm off, I'm off uh, trying to hit on the... Oh, sure, sure. They don't like that, though, by the way. Um, they're, they're not appreciative of, of, of that sort of thing from anybody, really. No, no, um, no, no, no. Wait no, until no. they're off the plane. No, 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 no. This is my this is my girlfriend. Yeah, that's that that's don't say that. Oh, we don't is talk that, is about that against that. company policy. Yeah, that's against po company policy. Oh, don't shit, do that. Okay, never mind. That's a good I way. Have, that's a good I way am, to get scheduled so that you're never on the same flight. I am discussing logistical things with this woman who I've never. Right. Right. That's actually that's actually a part of a really good movie uh, that's on Amazon Prime called Seventy Five Hundred. Um, it's 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 a it's an aviation movie about a uh, hijacking that takes place on an airplane 
and uh, one of the one of the pilots, the I think it's actually the first officer, was dating one of the stewardesses. Um, and it's and it's actually a pretty big part of the plot of the movie. Oh, Darth is Kirishima. Yeah. Hey, Figured. welcome Kirishima. Thank you so much for dropping by. I didn't know that was you. Um, I'm only used to knowing you as Kirishima. Kirishima. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that was that was probably not I don't not have a good deck. I don't have a good deck. Even, even even if you did have a good deck of impression, that's probably not a direction I would have gone on on Ice Street. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm a I'm a actually uh, jump out the jump out the door with the parachute. Okay, so we're going to we're going to we're going to call one of the stewardesses up. They're going to take the uh, co-pilot back yep. to the restroom. All right, take care, man. Thank you so much for dropping by and yeah, for um, being the first guest host on the show. Hey! That's the first time, uh, well, since I got affiliate anyway. Um, you were also the first before that as well, when we were doing mine. This is true. Other stuff is on the thing. Cool, cool. Thank uh, you so much. Perfect. I'll let you know. I'll give you a call. It's, yeah, it's fine. All, right. all right, all right. Hold on. I'm going to depressurize the camera real quick and... Don't fart on your way out of the flight deck. <laughs> Don't fart on your way out of the flight deck. You wait till you get to that bathroom. We do not want it. We we do not want the FAA called because we had a chemical attack. If you fart, I'm squawking 7500. We will get some F18s up here to deal with this. <laughs> Apparently, Chad is is accusing you of being about to go and join the Mile High Club. So, I mean. I mean, it's me. <laughs> I mean, it's me. All right. And that, that worked? Yeah, yeah. Be out and don't uh, fart. Does. Don't fart. I will squawk 7,500. No joke. <laughs> Darth is PS4 gamer tag, so it's my Twitch name. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so you stream directly from your PS4? Um, obviously, I do mine on PC. Uh, I do also have a PlayStation Classic. Um, I have some other consoles, but I don't really stream console very often. I do have a capture card for it. Um, I use the Avermedia H HD60, I think. Um... But I really have only used it when I was streaming, what was it, Final Fantasy VII? I still haven't done the remake, which I would love to do sometime. It's just, when I when I stream console games, I wind up having wires crisscrossing my entire bedroom. Which is where I stream from, by the way. Um, and it's primarily why I don't use... Yeah, if I would have known that we weren't going to have the opportunity to pass it back this year, I, I wouldn't have taken it. Um, so the PS Classic that I have is Wifey's PS5. <laughs> um, so I kind of accidentally stole that from her, but I didn't mean to. I just didn't know that I would be able to, uh, I wouldn't be able to visit there this year. Uh, you used to when you played Apex, but I've been pretty much peace only for the past three months. So, so, but I like the name Darth, so I kept it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I will just say Star Trek is the superior space opera. All right, looks like the battle is ready to go. Seven units were deployed. All right, let me on Street Raiders. All right, let's get this battle started. Like, wow, we got uh, six units from Sam's Angel. That that was that's some impressive clicking. All right, let's get this started, and I'm sure we're fine. Or more than. As long as my tank takes the majority of these uh, arrows, looks like it is. What are those? Are those flying robes? Flying archer. You guys, after them. Fair enough. It's all taken care of anyway. Nice. You even got most kills. Oh. Alright, probably got another half hour in us, so I'm going to do another one. 
Uh, you're going to get back to Red Dead. Hopefully you'll see more for Among Us. That would be fantastic. I would enjoy playing some Among Us. All right. Challenge level E. Uh, carefully make your way through a zone of undead... Oh, enemies will be revealed over time. Okay, so I'm going to start up here in, like, the top left. That's what I'm going to do. And then hopefully we'll just kind of swing through the area. Yeah, um, feel free to use whatever strategies you want in order to try and beat the map. If we don't, then I'm going to blame you. No, I'm kidding. All right. And so we're back to our now nighttime flight. We took off during the day, but it is nighttime now. Um, looks like I need to tighten up the map a little bit. About 45 miles from top of descent. But we've still got some time before we need to start filling anything out. <clears throat> 16 days left on the no hotis I wonder if there's a way for me to just continue. I'll have to figure it out later off stream. <laughs> also, it is really weird playing with a set of rudder pedals. Um, I'm not the way that you control it. It feels kind of backwards. Like when I was when I was on takeoff, I I veered way far to the right because um, I thought I thought I was correcting to move left, but I was correcting to move further right. Um, because I was still thinking of it as, uh, I was thinking of it kind of like a, like a, like a car, right? I push on the, the left side, then left side goes up and I'm going to go right, push on the right side and it's going to go up and the left. I was trying to, I, I was kind of trying to do the same thing. That definitely not working. But we'll see. It'll be interesting on approach. Um, I have done exactly two approaches with the rudder pedals. The first one, I absolutely cratered the landing, um, probably like six or seven hundred feet per minute. Um, when I redid it a second time, I got like 30, which is absolutely incredible. So, um, that's kind of where, where I'm going there, um. I'm hoping for closer to the 30. Because I don't want a pancake. Not on stream. <laughs> um, I've done plenty of pancaking on. Like, I'm not afraid to be bad. I'm just... I, I would just prefer not to be. Um, I've got way too many hours to still be as bad as I am. So I'm not learning quickly. Or rather, I'm not getting used to it. And that's probably because I'm switching between sims. I'm switching between airplanes. Like, when I fly in MFS, I'm flying the A320. When I'm flying in here, I'm flying the A319. They're very similar aircraft, but they're not the same. They fly. They do fly very differently. A319 is just a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. That means it's also lighter. And so it doesn't have as much inertia when I'm trying to move the, the airplane. Um... It's a little bit easier to lay down, but then if I get used to A320, then I'll start correcting too heavily, which is commonly what happens uh, when I'm landing hard in the 319 is that I overflare and uh, wind up gaining altitude, and then I stall down into the ground instead of you know, gently flying down into it and flaring to keep myself from smacking the ground. So basically, I wind up giving the uh, runway a high five. A very, very high five. Um, and yes, it does hurt us both. <laughs> but uh, last time, we just gave a random street a high five <laughs> because it stopped listening to my throttle. Um, 
I even had to I had to look because I was like maybe it was like that time when I was in um, when I was actually landing here in Toronto and I had to do three go arounds and then I ran out of gas. Like I had to make sure I didn't run out of gas. I was I was pulling up. I was trying to. to I was trying to ja jam the throttle all the way up, and it wasn't listening at first. I thought it was the auto throttle. I turned that off. Still didn't listen, but I, I looked at the uh, throttle in the plane, and it wasn't moving either. So, I don't know what that was. However, it looks like I have a job to do. I will be right back. Oh, hold on. First, I got to handle top of the end. Because we are three miles from it. There's 20 miles. I don't know why it's not yelling at me for top of descent, but we're going to do that real quick, and then I'll jump out and grab some water. Um, weather. So, performance. Approach. Or, perimeter is 30.15. Temperature is four degree. Wind is oh at five. Vision height will say two hundred. See if we can't pull winds. Wait, on the right foot. No descent, descent winds, but that's fine. I'm down to probably 4,000 feet. All right, so landing elevation um, is on auto. Big do arrivals, performance approach is completed. Top of descent winds, I can't do. Um, altitude is set. We'll go ahead and push it now. All right, so I don't have anything else to do until 18,000 feet. So I'm going to run real quick and grab some water. And I will be right back. Take care and enjoy. And I'm back. I have a nice big old jug of water. And that is the sound of hydration happening. 
in live real time, not that that's very impressive. It is, it is such a difficult skill to drink water. Uh, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys looking out for me and making sure that I take care of myself and don't die. It's very much appreciated. Um, it's one way that you guys can show that you appreciate the content is by making sure that I do not die. Yes, the squeak of hydration. Fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so, if you guys have never been here before, I do this every Tuesday. I also come back and do classic or RPG style games every Wednesday and Friday. Hey, thank you so much for that follow, Mr. Avery Aviation. Is that ARG or Aviation Arg? I'm not sure which. But I appreciate it either way. I hope you enjoy the content. Uh, I have been doing flight simulation for, I think, probably three or four years now. I got real serious about it about two years ago. Um, I've been flying the, the Jar Design A320 and the Tolis A319. Definitely a uh, much bigger fan of the 319 than I am of the Jar Design. That should not come as a surprise to anybody as alone either for very long um i do have microsoft flight uh i'm not pleased with where it is at the moment um they just they keep making it crash uh, for instance when i just flew this i flew this exact same route last week in mfs it took me about three, three and a half hours, and I crashed about ten miles from the runway because it stopped responding to my throttle. I don't know why, but it did. So, um, that's why I'm kind of flying this as well, right? I want to sh kind of show the, the comparison of the t simulators, um, because Microsoft Flight looks amazing, and once they can finally do everything they need to make it work, right? Once they've got it functioning, um, it's going to be fantastic. Once they can get the, the atmospheric modeling, the weather, the um, once the graphics are back up to par, I don't know what they did, but they potatoed the graphics hard. I don't know why, I don't know how, but for some reason, the graphics are a lot worse than they used to be. Um, it's super, super grainy. Um, trying to kind of see what the runway looks like, but I don't have my charts in front of me. Okay, so it lines us up here, and we fly straight. Um, so I do think that Microsoft Flight is, at least right now, the future of flight simulation, but it's not the present of flight simulation. Um, they, they've got too many crashes. They're too impressed with their own system so that, you know, like, they've got a bug where the uh, smart camera kicks on and starts making you look at POIs and then it just gets stuck there. You can't see what's going on in front of the plane. You're just stuck staring at this POI for the rest of the flight. And that's just... That's just getting hijacked by your own simulator. Right? They... Like, and, and sometimes it also crashes the system. If you open the VFR map, you have like a... I think they said like a 60-70% chance you're just going to crash the game. Um, you've got both of their short-range regional jets, the, the CJ-4 and the Longitude, are both... They both have fuel issues. 
that they haven't fixed. There's aircraft that have necessary systems for flight that aren't modeled. Um, so I'm not sure how they're going to... They may never fix stuff like that. They may just decide, you know what? No, nah, we're hands-off. You guys can come up with a user-made fix for it, but we're not going to mess with it. We're done. We've made what we're going to make. Um, I know that they are planning on releasing more aircraft um, for pay, which is interesting direction for them to go. Um, but that's what they're doing, and totally within their rights, just not probably the direction that I would go, especially not for people who paid $100 without a bunch of aircraft that don't work. Um, I'm still waiting to see what PMDG does. Um, getting payware aircraft is going to be what tells me the worth of this simulator. Because if they can get good payware aircraft from PMDG that are systems complete study level aircraft, then I'll be happy. And I'll be glad that I spent the money that I did because I didn't just get 10 aircraft that aren't really well modeled. I also got 10 airports. Those are fairly well modeled. They're not as good as Orbex. I mean, for, for as much extra as I paid, I would expect something more like Orbex, where I'm not just getting the airport and terminal, but also the terminal area and, you know, at least a couple of miles of the city around it. Um, but instead, they decided to just do terminal and, and, and runways and things like that, which I think is the bare minimum. Um... I don't think they should have tried to sell the entire simulator based on that, and I definitely don't think that the extra money that we paid for was worth it for the aircraft. I mean, these are worse than freeware level aircraft. And most of them are with the base game. I mean, you get, what, 20? Then you get 20 with the base game, then 5 with deluxe, and, and 5 more with premium deluxe? Um... And me, personally, I am a heavy iron pilot, right? I'm, I'm an airliner pilot. So, I'm looking at... Um, I'm looking at things like um, the, the, 7 th the 747, which is terrible on frame rate. Still. Not as bad as it used to, but it's still pretty bad. Um... A320, which, thank God for the guys at Fly-By-Wire Simulations, because they're the only things making that thing flyable. Um, I'll just... Um, and the 787, which was the only one that I had to, to upgrade for, and I had to upgrade to the Premium Deluxe Edition to get it. And it's... Literally the worst aircraft I have flown out of the default aircraft. Um, I've flown the Longitude. I've run out of gas in the Longitude, which is kind of the same as flying in the Longitude. Um, I've flown the A320. I've flown the 747. And then I crashed hard in the 787 on stream. You can actually go back and look at that VOD. Uh, I flew... What was it? Moron, Moran, I don't know how you pronounce it, it was something to Moran, Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan to Moran, or Moran to, D to Genghis Khan, I think, and, uh, man, we ate it hard, um, the, the, the plane just didn't want to land, once I got it down, it wouldn't stop, I don't know if it stopped responding to my throttle again and didn't listen to me when I pulled the power. But it eventually, I overran the entire runway, uh, crumpled the nose gear, and crashed the plane. After going probably half a mile in the surrounding area. Um, 
Also, the descent path that it gave me went through a mountain. Oh, I'm not really sure how I was supposed to do that without crashing. Um, that's what's known in the N in NTSB circles as powered descent into terrain. Also known as dipshit flew into a mountain. Um, I'm not real pleased where it's at. Hopefully some, some payware aircraft will get it to a playable state. Uh, hopefully they'll stop making it crash. Uh, the whole simulator crashes constantly. Um, thankfully, I have avoided most of those myself. But I have gotten bitten by it. And that's... Light Sim is someplace... Like, I get it. it it's a high-stress environment. And, and, and yes, Light Sim is where it's likely to happen because it's very, very intensive. But at the same time, like, I don't feel great about um, about flying a four or five hour flight and then having the sim crash. You know, there was one time when I flew from uh, Denver to Hawaii um, in this plane, in this simulator, and I was able to just leave my computer on all night long. I slept... I went to a friend's house the next day and monitored my flight with my tablet and then came home, still had about another hour, and then I landed it. No problems. Microsoft Flight, I would never consider a flight. I would absolutely refuse. Because there's just too much chance to, that the simulator would just crash out and I'd lose everything. Sir. Thirty-one five. Yo. All right, we're officially on the descent path. We're about to hit Nuber. Nuber is the start of the uh, approach. A star. thousand feet so we don't need to turn on our landing lights just yet and we don't have to turn on the uh, seat belt signs either turn on those at the same time right around 10,000 feet somewhere between 10,000 and 12,000 <clears throat> and this time I can pretty I can say with absolute certainty might be wrong but I can say it with absolute certainty. We're not going to just have my throttle stop responding and crash us 10, you know, 10 miles before the runway. I am certain of that. Regardless of whether that certainty is well-founded, I am certain of it. Okay, so we're swinging around. We're doing, we're, we're doing a circle here. Which is probably noise abatement, I think. Or it might be just because of winds. They don't want me landing the opposite direction. Um, 
I've turned it Abakoiki. Well, this is actually going to be three right turn. What? Two right turn. Turn left to get on the pattern and then two rights. But yeah, um, we are far away from Albuquerque though. Just just a little bit. Just a little ways away from Albuquerque. This looks very low. I mean, those are, I know that those are clouds and not trees, but it definitely feels low. Because those feel like trees. And it feels like I'm about to power descent into terrain. May have to turn off my strobe light when I get in here if they're still doing clouds the way they used to. It used to have this glitch where my beacon would cause the entire cloud to flash. So it'd just start blinding, flashing. Waterlanding? We're not gonna waterland! It's Toronto! <laughs> Now we're just about to fly down into the clouds. Here we go. Ah! We're in the clouds. Alright, everybody sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and let's get this fucking bird on the ground. I'm kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> and I appreciate every last one of you. I don't think there should be... I mean, let me try... Those off. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It's... I wish these integrals actually lit up these... these which is... Um, which I think they do in the actual aircraft. There we are. There's Pearson. There's Pearson. We're going to swing wide around it. Take a left right about uh, now. Now. There you go. A little late on your nows. I'll forgive you this time, Tolis, but, you know, try to pick up on the cues. Um, I'm going to turn back around probably land this one. might also notice I didn't spend the entire, you know, third of the flight at 10,000 feet. That didn't happen here. Um, that's because this plane actually, like, knows what it's doing and I know what it's doing and not following an improvised flight plan that I just cobbled together using, uh, if I remember correctly, I had to actually use, uh, Sky Vector to find myself some waypoints because it's just not having any of the ones that I got from Stim Brief. Or from the actual real flight. I, I pulled, uh, pulled some stuff from the real flights. Levig, it's going to have me go manual. I'm going to vector us towards Calvi. But, overall, this has been a fun flight. 
where the one up until I mean I suppose up until now the one uh, that I did in MFS was relatively fun. Just the uh, the stress of getting the McDo set up was high, and um, stress of operating at landing was high. Okay, I think we've we've got enough time here. I'm gonna go ahead and run that fight. Let's throw up Scream Raiders. And then let's get this started. All right, let's get it going. Oh, that goes. Okay, so things only showed up at the bottom of the map. Great, I did nothing in that fight. <laughs> Like somebody gets uh, some rogue scrolls. All right, definitely are not going to have time to do another one today, uh, but we will do that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for uh, playing Stream Raiders with me. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Go ahead and close that now. All right. So we are we didn't waste much time yeah stream readers is i think really fun is something that i can do to keep people engaged during flight right i don't want you guys just sitting there bored let's see a little bit nope oh dear that's just too many. All right, I'll just take control with the heading bug. All right, hopefully you guys got some good stuff out of today's uh, stream raiders. Interfering with my net. This down a bit. And... Go ahead and turn on our constraints and our airports. Um, the LS can probably come on now. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to slow down to 210 knots. I can probably flaps one because we're a little low. It just didn't want to get us all the way down to 210. Once we hit Levig, I'm going to take a right turn and then straight Calvi. Gonna get us down to three thousand. They're about. Pass over Levig. Right. It's wanting to hold at 4,000? I thought it was at 3,000.
here and I'm going to direct. And the three thousand. I know. Alone. Go ahead and hit approach mode. AP one, AP two. We're already way below the glide slope. We're still on our descent path, but we're below the glide slope. So I'm fine with uh, letting us come in on it. Alright, on approach, FC speed is managed. Speed break required, but I'm going to go ahead and arm it. Oak and glide slope capture FC altitude set to go around once we're captured. Feel a little low. <coughs> Pardon me. The squeak of hydration. Waiting for us to get onto the localizer. You see that descent path start to come. You look here. What does this say? Two nine or nine or two. <clears throat> okay, we're about to capture the glide slope. Turning in, this is where we're landing. We're turning into the localizer. Set that to 5,000 for go around altitude. Lapse 2. Go ahead and light us up a little bit. That auto brake to low. Thank you. Ground spoilers are armed. Auto brake is set. Lapse three. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto, where the temperature is a balmy two Celsius. Okay, so that's flaps three. Go ahead and drop our landing gear. Cabin checked. Be checked, flaps full. All right, let's get my feet up on the rudder pedals. There we go. 
bow down that dis We got no wind. Corpus. One thousand. Real nice to know where I am, where I'm going. I don't think I do. I've probably exited the wrong direction. I know where I'm going. Oh. Roughly. I'm not going to be able to at all that well here for a minute. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Toronto Pearson International Airport. It is two degrees. It is real hacking cold. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we have no more problems on the way in, which we shouldn't, because we are on the ground. Ultimately, how bad can it be once we're on the ground? We're just going to get to roll for a bit. Crank up the, uh... Crank up the throttle just a little bit, because we want to get there before 8 p.m. Oh, 
hoping to get there. We can go up to 30 knots, I think. It's snowing, by the way. Yeah. I mean, obviously not in the sim. A thing for which I am very, very, very thankful. Um, we do have snow here in Kansas City, which is where I live. But we didn't just fly from a random city. We, we flew from where I live. A little ways away, but... It's my home airport. Okay, I probably need to do some things here. Yeah, that needs to come down. Those are off. Brake fans need to come on. Uh, pull out. Lighting lights retracted. Ground spoilers disarmed. Engine mode to normal, flaps retracted, APU master on. Oh, that's a good thing that I should probably do sooner rather than later. Because we are not too far away from where we're actually going to be parking at a stand. Which is hopefully in the right spot. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to go over here. This, I think this is the actual apron. I'm going to go down to... What is this? Tango. Go down to Tango, take a left. There's the apron I'll be at. down just a little bit. We're going to cross over a runway. quite the taxi. You know what I should have done? I should have put us at the beat. <laughs> and the runway turnoff's off. You know, ND is off, brake fan is on. I'm going to put us in right over here. that's probably us oh that looks pretty fucking spot on okay so that should be parking brake on
All right, parking brake on. Anti-ice was not needed. APU bleed on. Engine one and two off. Runway turn offs are off. Wing lights, nose wheel lights. I'm gonna turn off the nose wheel lights. Nav and logo lights off. Uh, beacon off. Probe off. Seat belts off. Lapse time stop. Two hours, 15 minutes in the air today from gate to gate. Welcome to Toronto Pearson Airport. Um, it is two degrees outside and snowing, even though you can't really see that in the simulator. We're going to turn our, our transponder to standby. Fuel pumps all off. Uh, Mick Dew's dim. I'm not going to worry about brake fan off, which I'm not going to do at the moment because our brakes are heckin' hot. Yeah, we got one at 320. We got two of them at 320. And wifey's back. Oh, Blood Raven, thank you so much for coming by. I'm afraid you've kind of caught me right at the end of, of our uh, stream today. But I appreciate you coming by. Um... Yeah, uh, air rack attack. We are air rack attack. We are air rack attack, flying the salty skies. If this side gets it any better. Uh, it's still hard to read that black against the purple. But yeah, unfortunately, you've caught us at the end of the stream today. Um, I do this every Tuesday, 5 till 7 central. Uh, however... Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I won't be doing flights. I'll be doing Mega Man X2. Should be like the last, last couple of Sigma stages. And then I'm done with that one. And we'll move into Mega Man X3. Uh, I'll be doing Mega Man X3 on Friday. Uh, and then I'll be back into this on Tuesday. I will either be doing X-Plane or MFS. Depending on which one, I feel like doing 10 minutes before the flight. <laughs> Um, and whether or not I feel up to crashing. Generally, I don't like crashing, so I'm not going to say it's likely that I'm going to do, uh, MFS, but the sim does crash a lot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and it did crash me on approach here last week. Um, so who knows? Let's go ahead and finish turning this thing off. We're going to turn off our deers. Exterior lights all off. Interior lights. Uh, pardon me. AP bleed. AP master. Uh, emergency exit lights. No smoking lights off. And then battery one and two off. And that is us. Welcome to Toronto Pearson. Um, thankfully, we had a plane this week that decided not to start ignoring my throttle and crashing us into the ground. Uh, that's called a powered descent into terrain. Actually, uh, that's not because it wasn't powered. Um, our, our engines remained at idle. I tried my best to get them to function, but they did not. Uh, you'll be able to see that footage on the YouTubes here in a couple of weeks. You can look at all of our past streams that are currently available now. Uh, let me grab that YouTube's link. Uh, if I can find it around here somewhere. Where's the YouTube's link? There it is. There is the YouTube's. And you can see all the stuff there. Uh, highlighted message. Lots of love to my hubby. Thank you, thank you so much, wifey. Much love to my wife. Uh, our wife, apparently. Um, I do have to share, especially since Raven is here and Raven is part of uh, Wonder Puss's uh, her community, which means that it is our wifey. She is our wifey. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here this week, and I've really had a lot of fun with this stream. I hope you guys are yeah, our wife. All part of the harem. Uh, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this week. 
Um, I definitely enjoyed this stream. I like the new music, which I got from Stream Beats, in case any of you are streamers. Uh, Stream Beats is, has a sync license. It is actually legal to use, unlike Twitch's uh, soundtrack service. Um, it is absolutely free. Just go to streambeats.com. Uh, they've also got Spotify soundtracks. They've got soundtracks in the EDM, Synthwave, um, Lo-Fi, and Hip-Hop uh, genres. And altogether, I've, I don't even have the last two installed yet, and I've already got over four hours of music that can play on my streams. It is totally synchronized. I, I have the license for it. So if you're looking for anything to play alongside streams, uh, definitely try looking into that. 